Hey, uh, well, welcome back to Shane's Main Shop. I know it's been a while. I've been busy doing other things, um, working on the, the bus over there. If you're interested in seeing what we're doing that, I do have another channel. It's called Life the Wild Ride. You can check that out. But today, we are doing a quick repair on the Jeep here. Hopefully, it's a quick repair. So, I'll get the camera turned around. Ah, actually, I guess you can see it right there. So, um, basically, there's supposed to be a hole in the frame here. It's just a you know, a vent hole or whatever, you know, where air can flow through. But you can see it's rusting away and it's a lot bigger than it's supposed to be. And it won't pass a sticker. Um, the frame is still fairly solid around it, but this area here is bigger than it needs to be. So what we're gonna do to hopefully do a quick repair is we got a couple uh, really heavy duty thick washers here and I'm gonna weld one on here. So I was looking at this one first. We don't mind if there's a hole in the middle because there is a hole supposed to be there. Um, but then I found a thicker one and a little bit bigger one. It's gonna cover more of the area. And uh, I think that'll do the repair that we need and uh, take care of this issue to get a sticker. Again, this Jeep is old, it's got a lot of issues. I don't spend a ton of money, just try to do minimal work to keep it on the road, but keep it safe. And uh, so this is just gonna be a quick quick fix here so we can hopefully uh, get a sticker with it as well as some other fixes we're doing to it as, as well. Uh, but anyway, let me uh, get things cleaned up here and kind of show you what we hope to do. Okay, well, I got it welded here and I'll turn the camera on here and show you in a second here, but um, I did find it on the other side of the frame. It's got a hole too uh, and some rust. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to try to get in behind there and fix it. I wish I would have noticed it. It's my own fault. I kind of saw it and I figured I'd be all right. But the bottom line is I could have welded through this big hole on the other side before I did this. But let me just turn this around real quick. Yeah, if I hadn't have welded this washer on here first, I could have put something on the other side and welded through this hole because there's not much room on this other side to get to where I need to get. It's in behind that bracket right there that you see. Uh, it's right in in here. So if I'd have noticed it a little bit better sooner, it would have been easier. But bottom line is, this is uh, not pretty, but it is solid. So I never claimed to be a professional welder, but it is not coming off. And that section of the frame is much more um, secure now than it was before. Also why I'm right here, I'm just gonna do a quick repair on this bracket, which I put this bracket on a, a couple years ago, um, but it broke. Uh, I'm not gonna buy a new one. I have a hole right there and the hole here. I can bring these two together and run a bolt through it. Again, I'm just hoping to get one more year out of this Jeep and that'll be it. So I don't really wanna put any real money in it. If I can fix it for you know like a hundred bucks or so uh, for what I need to do, um, then then that's that's pretty much the plan. It's got a lot, a lot of issues now as far as rust in the frame, you know, in the body and stuff like that. So again, I don't want to put a ton of money in it or time. Next year, I'll have to consider a different vehicle. Maybe I'll go back to drive my big diesel truck. We'll see. Uh, so anyway, now let me get a bolt in that and clean this up a little bit, and we'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. I did take the tire off because it made it much easier to get in behind here and uh, have better access. Okay, I went ahead and just kind of wire brushed all the loose slag and the, and the welding residue off. And we're just going to go ahead and spray it just to help protect it. All right, well, uh, there you have it. Uh, so I, like I said, I cleaned this all up and I just sprayed it some flat black just to protect it a little bit from just being plain metal. I don't know why I did that, to be honest with you, because that certainly is going to last a year even without painting it. And then, of course, I took care of the, um, the, um, let me turn the camera around this way because the sun is so bright. I took care of the uh, muffler hanger here that was broken. All I did was put a bolt to it. I did put a washer and a lock washer to help, uh, and a brass screw so the lock washer will bite into that uh, a brass nut. The lock washer will bite into that brass nut and hopefully not um, back off at all. I think before that comes out, the thing will break again in another spot. But like I said, it just needs to get us a year. So the uh, only thing I gotta do on this thing now is I gotta put a new shock on the other side. I gotta pull the gas tank out to do it. And the gas tank needs new straps. And then I gotta finish uh, messing with the exhaust manifold 
that has a slight leak. There you have it. Um, just a, uh, just a, you know, just cheap, inexpensive way to make some repairs to get me through. It's not um, nothing that's going to last any long term. And again, that's not what I'm looking for with this vehicle. I'd like to get another year out of it. You know, you could possibly go more if I wanted to put a lot of work into it. I personally just don't think it's worth it at this point. So I might sell it to somebody that needs parts for a Jeep because there are, people are always looking for parts for these things. There's still a lot of good usable stuff on it, but it's getting to the point where it's not worth it for me to keep doing the repairs. Uh, you know, just comes a time to just let things go. So anyways, uh, that's where we're at. Thanks for swinging by Shane's main shop. I know I have not been posting a lot of videos lately because I've been very busy on my other channel building that bus over there into a tiny home. If you are interested in checking that out, uh, there's a lot of build information on that and different things, videos you might find interesting. It's called Life the Wild Ride and that's also uh, right here on YouTube and on Instagram as well. But uh, anyway, thanks for swinging by uh, Shane's main shop. Hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe found it a little bit useful. If nothing else, uh, hopefully slightly entertaining. Have a great day.